is Clint Barrens, um, and I'm the solid plastering trainer. I think it's about 24 years I've been involved with solid plastering, all the way from the beginning as a labourer all the way through to a business owner. So solid plastering is um, you're basically covering brickwork or concrete uh, or a substrate uh, background and you're covering it with plaster and you want to make it nice and smooth or good. Uh, you can also have decorative finishes but yeah, you're covering, um, you're covering those substrates and making them put uh, cornices up, um, moulds, different moulding, um, different finishes with the plaster and texture. Um, you, do, you could do some concrete. Um, there's a whole range. You'll probably do a little bit of painting as well because they're sort of all intertwined between the two. It gives you good all-round skills uh, out so that you're um, capable in the real world. Plastering is very labour intensive. Um, but it's one of those trades where you can earn a little bit, you can earn good money in it. Um, and it's also one that there is work around. Um, it also enables you to get physical, um, you know, which I think is good and it keeps you physically fit. Well, you, know, you don't take that stress home as much as probably other jobs do. So. So what I enjoy about working with international students is uh, probably their enthusiasm. Uh, I've been uh, quite pleased with you know when you when you turn up to the class and all the students are ready to go and they're willing to have a crack at it. Um, you know, and everybody's really friendly and, and like I said everybody's willing to learn so it makes the classes a fair bit of fun and it's rewarding for myself as a trainer that um, we can give or I can give back to, to students my trade I suppose to maybe help them 